Now, the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana is demanding an immediate removal of the price stabilization and recovery levy in the petroleum price build-up. COPEC is demanding a 5% reduction in the prices of petroleum products at fuel outlets during the first pricing window in March. The price of Brent oil this month stands at $54.22 a barrel, compared to $63.83 the previous month. Over the last 12 months, the price has fallen by 12.96%. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, is currently priced $49.93 per barrel, from the $57.68 on the average in January. The fall in the price of crude oil on the global market and the city has appreciated 7.1% year-to-date. However, these developments have not reflected in the ex-refinery prices at the BDC's level and prices at the local pumps. Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amoa, noted MPA's reintroduction of the stabilization and recovery levy did not allow further reduction of fuel prices. That would effectively wipe out some 16 pesos per litre. And so if your reductions were going to be 20 per source, 16 is already taking out. Again, the issue of whether BDCs themselves are also giving us the needed reductions, uh, that matter would have to be discussed thoroughly. Because when world market prices are going down, you expect it to reflect at the ex-refinery price uh, position. COPEC has called for a 5% reduction in fuel prices during the first pricing window in March. So the natural expectation is that once there wouldn't be any stabilization introduced, once there wouldn't be uh, any dollar issue hanging on our necks as uh, an important country, the expectation is that the first week of March fuel prices should do a minimum 5% uh, downward reduction for all of us. Fewer prices within the second pricing window in February saw majority of the oil marketing companies, OMCs, maintaining the prices of petrol and diesel.